I am Kiniso Lupupa. I am quite old. I'm only 38. I think I owe who I am to my parents. They always told us education is uh, the only gun you can use to fight any war around the world. So I think they also gave me uh, the direction. You know, living in, uh, in Lomahasha, it's nice, it's challenging. Like for myself, as I'm a teacher, I also enjoy my me time. Quiet, do my work. But if you're talking about, uh, if you're a person who likes going out and having fun, it can be dragging. Uh, the temperatures sometimes, they are challenging. Lomasha can be extremely cold, it can also be extremely hot. Then again, I won't mention the challenge of mosquitoes. So those make uh, Lomasha a scary place. I've been here for a very long time and I hardly have my family visiting me here. They are scared of the, the malaria. What I feel threatens life in this area is uh, the shortage of water like during winter. Last year, it hammered this place. They couldn't even do a thing in as far as agriculture is concerned. If there is a shortage of water, you, 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 you get reports that the sicknesses uh, from things like diarrhea and the likes, they come up. Malaria as well, uh, wherever there's little water, you find that those mosquitoes are building up there. The families around here, in as far as income is concerned, it's uh, agriculture. You find that their source of income is from these little plots that they, uh, they, where they cultivate or maybe they do their vegeta vegetable production and for selling. Then part of their family members, they are employed by the sugar belt. The sugar cane companies, RSSC, Tabankuru, that's where most of the male uh, family leaders are. You find that if the father is employed in the sugar belt, he's staying with the mistress there and hardly come home. Hardly come home to support. Month end, nothing is sent home. No school fees are sent uh, for the child to go to school. He's only taking care of himself and the mistress and the other struggling this side. What goes on around the community, you find that I get away of it through my, my children. So being here at school, you find that the children are my newspaper. I get information there for, for around the area though, for, from them. And we, we, we talk a lot about their experiences, so I learn a lot about the community from the, the children around the school. The challenge is mainly the poverty is an issue. It, it affects their education. When I'm talking about poverty, some children, they only get a meal here at school. When they go back home, there's nothing to eat. So it's quite difficult for them to learn. We as teachers, we, we, we have a very vital role. We play a role of being guardians, like counselors, in changing the perspective of children. I feel the IGA project is very important. It is raising awareness of the kids on how to face their challenges. It is uh, equipping the kids on how to look at things at a different angle. If there are challenges, they should know that we are not the only ones facing those challenges, but we have to try and see how to move away from those challenges. I have seen uh, from the sessions that we've had, uh, the children are learning a lot. So having such sessions for the children, it's helping them, it's opening their eyes, and it's also helping them to solve problems for others in their community. It's raising ambassadors for the area, showing other youngsters that they can achieve a lot by uniting themselves, looking at things positively. The main drivers of the project are the children themselves. My role is guiding. Uh, my role is uh, supporting. 
My role is showing the light. Uh, my role is uh, citing examples. My role is making sure that the material that they need to learn better is there. Their contribution, I think, is uh, what matters the most for the project. In the community, we are working with children that are, are open-minded. We are working with children that are smart. We are working with children that are, they are future-driven. Besides that, we are working with children that have got problems. But they are strong and they support each other. Well, my, my wish and hope for this area, I, I, I would like to see these children going to upper levels, like finishing their tertiary education, coming back to the area to encourage their youngsters and tell them that I'm a doctor now. I was at Lomahasha High School, encouraging uh, all those growing in the area. I really believe that we, we are going to have a maybe future doctors from this area. We are going to have uh, civil engineers from, from this area. We already have teachers looking at the children that we have. As much as they are challenged with the hard work that is being uh, put into them, we are going to have all sorts of uh, qualified individuals in the near future here.